Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's Bella again. I'm back with another um, kind of card collection tour. This one is actually stickers. So um, I'm really excited to show you guys everything. And um, let's get to it. So these are stickers from the um, 2019 Women's Wood Cup. Um, they're pretty cool. They're actually probably my favorite collection that I have. Um, which is kind of surprising, they're not even cards. Um, over here, just before we get started, this is a Crystal Dunn Prism Select Autographed card. It's my favorite card in my entire PC, so I just love it so much. So, it's just going to go over there. The sticker collection was something that was released not too long ago, and um, they actually came in little packs kind of like this. Um, they came in packs of five. I bought ten off of Amazon fairly recently. So, um, I think pretty much just your traditional sticker pack um, by Panini. And um, so, yeah, I had a lot of fun opening those. I have 50, car uh, 50 stickers to sort through. So, that was, was pretty entertaining for a while. Um, and yeah, so I, I put my favorite ones up here already in um, sheets of, well I guess these would be penny sleeves. So this one's just like a standard soccer ball. Um, this one's actually probably one of the ones that's worth more probably on the higher end just because it's so general, it's not specific to a team or a player. So that gives it a little bit of um, safety there. Number 480. This one is my favorite sticker of the entire deck. Um, this one's Rose Lavelle. Um, she, there's a little bit of dust on here. She is a uh, midfielder for the USWNT. I love her so much. She actually um, scored a goal, I wanna say, in the final game. If, I, I could be wrong on that, but it, she scored a goal either in the semifinals or the finals. It was this amazing, Kind of, it was, it's pretty far away too, as I remember. So she, um, she currently plays for the Washington Spirits. So they're based out of DC, I believe. Um, here is Rosie White. She plays for the um, New Zealand national team, um, but she actually plays for the Chicago Red Stars. Um, when um, you know, in the traditional NWSL season. So I like her, really um, enjoy watching the Red Stars. They're the closest team to me. So I haven't actually been to a game of theirs, but they're definitely one of my favorites. Um, this one is Desiree Scott. Uh, she plays for Canada on the national team and the Utah Royals um, in the NWSL during the regular season. Um, so she's actually teammates with Kristen Press who I really admire. Chris and Press is probably one of my one of my favorite players right now. Um, yeah, and then I have a bunch of others from various other countries. I don't I don't know how well I organize them. I think they're I think they're pretty well organized. Um, but I have let's see, that would make forty seven other cards here. So we have um, Lucy Santaforth. Um, she plays for the Birmingham City uh, Football Club in the regular season. Um, she plays for England in the national team. We have Alex Greenwood. I actually remember seeing her play at the World Cup. She was pretty good, if I remember correctly. Um, she plays for Manchester United, pretty famous team. Um, next, we're getting to Germany. So we have Carolyn Simon. Um, and Linda Dalmon, I hope I'm pronouncing their names correctly, <laughs> and um, Carlin actu actually plays for the Olympic Lyonnais, which is actually a pretty famous group there. Fun fact, the um, Lyonnais actually um, kind of bought the Seattle Reign, so they are now known as the OL Reign, Ol Reign, um, standing for that. So, that's pretty cool. I kind of, I, I do have to say, I miss their old, um, their old shield. It was pretty cool. Um, now it's a lion, which is still cool. 
but I feel like the rain kind of worked better with, you know, a queen, a queen and stuff. Um, so we have four Swedish players here. Um, I actually saw the Swedish team play. Um, I actually went to a, um, a victory tour game for the USWNT. So they beat the Swedes, I think it was three to two that game. So I think Carly Lloyd scored two goals. And then I believe, I want to say Kristen Press scored another as well. So here's Ericsson. Here's, um, Yelistis, I'm sorry, I didn't pronounce that right. Hurtig, she's probably actually one of my favorite players just because of her name and also she's a forward, so she's pretty flashy like that. And then Fisher. So there's our um, Swedish team. The Netherlands. So the US actually played the Netherlands in the final, I believe. Um, so these, um, I mean, these two players went all the way to the finals, which is, um, you know, incredible. So, um, you know, I think they did really, really well. And yeah, the Netherlands is definitely a cool team. Um, over here we have Spain. I never actually saw Spain play, but um, I heard that, you know, they're pretty good. Um, so, uh, Jennifer Hermesco, uh, plays for the Atletico de Madrid, and then Alexa Putellas plays for FC Barcelona, which is pretty cool. Then we have Norway. We have three stickers from Norway. Originally, these would go in a book, um, like a sticker kind of album thing. Um, I don't actually have that right now. I was thinking of buying one online. I'm not really sure if it would be worth it. I don't know. It's 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 not too expensive, so I may do it. Um, these are players from Cameroon. Yeah, and actually, these are pretty nice. Um, I, I feel like they're pretty high quality stickers, which I, I really appreciate that. So three fifty and three forty nine on here. We have Jamaica. One thing that's interesting about these players is um, Jaden Matthews actually goes to Cornell, and so she plays on their soccer team there, which is really, really cool. So congrats, Jaden. That's awesome. Um, I'm sorry for the background noise. I think someone's running a blender. <laughs> um, and then Jody Brown actually also goes to a school in the U.S., the Montverde Academy. So that's pretty cool. And actually... I believe these are the dates of, I think these are their birthdays. So she was actually born in 2002, which is really cool. She, so she's, um, she's pretty young actually. Let's see, what would that be? That'd be, these are, the yeah, World Cup took place in France. So in France, fun little thing, they put the day first and then the month and then the year. So she was born on the 16th of, I believe the fourth month would be April 2002. So she's only 18, so she was only 17 when they were playing in the World Cup. So that's that's pretty incredible. Um, we have someone from Nicaragua here. Um, she plays for a football club in China on the off season, so that's pretty cool. Another New Zealander to go with Rosie White. Um, she plays for an Icelandic, uh, Icelandic team, Betsy Hassett. So I'll put her with her teammate over there. <laughs> oh, another Jamaica. Sorry, I must not have organized these very well. <laughs> uh, Toriana Patterson, and she plays for an Italian team. So that's pretty cool. Chile over here. Let's see how many have we got here. Oh, four here. So a pretty nice range here. Paris Saint Germain. I've actually heard of them. Um, the men's team is pretty famous. So that's it's pretty cool. Pretty famous team. And a few the other ones are um, teams from Spain. So that's really cool as well. 
see. And then we have an Italian player. So she plays for Juventus Women. So Juventus is actually um, the men's team of that. I believe Cristiano Ronaldo plays for that team. So it's cool that she's in the same franchise. Italiano. And then we have some Thai players. So they play... Oh, cool. They both play at the same school in Thailand. They're pretty young too, aren't they? 92, 90? I mean, I guess that's not that young for athletes, but it's young in my book, you know. <laughs> Alright, and then we have a Korean player, Kim do -yong. Plays for oh, a, a team in Korea. It's pretty cool. And then we have someone from the host team, or two someones from the host team of France. And actually, she plays for the Olympic Lyonnais as well. So good for her. The French team, I have to say, did really well. I think they made it to the either the semifinals or the quarterfinals. So they did pretty well. And the U.S. actually played them, um, won that game. But yeah, the the French team is still very good. I think they. I want to say they're seated probably either four or five in the league. Um, and then we have some team cards. I really like these team cards. I wish I would have got one from um, the US, obviously. But these are still pretty cool. So here's Jamaica. Here's Cameroon. It's cool that we got players from both those teams. And here is Brazil. And I don't know, I think I may have gotten a player from Brazil. Yeah. Um, Teza, so she's pretty cool. Um, but the cool thing about my favorite player from Brazil, number 10 right there, Marta. She's pretty impressive. So, really love them. It's a cool card. I'm thinking of um, selling a few of these, but I figure I'm not gonna get rid of the team cards. At least not most of them, you know? Uh, Chloe Logarza, she plays for Australia. And she plays for the Sydney Football Club. So that's pretty cool. Again, these are French cards, so their heights are written in um, meters, which is really interesting. I don't know off the top of my head what each one translates to, but I know that someone who is about 5'4 or 5'5 five five would be about, I think, 1.5 something meters. So, I just kind of base it off of that. Riza Shimizu. So, we have our Japanese players here. Japan, I believe. Japan's rated, like... I mean, they didn't do super well in, um, in this tournament. But they have won the World Cup. I want to say... I think once. Yeah, they have once. But they're still highly rated. I want to say they're still... Um, Number three or number four. We have China over here. We actually have five players from, from them. So that's pretty cool. I think that's the most I have out of any team. I'm assuming she's probably the goalkeeper, judging on her jersey difference. So yeah, China's yeah, in the 120s, I believe. 130s. And then finally, our very last card is of uh, Roxanne Barker. Um, she plays for, I want to say, the Republic of South Africa. I think that's what that stands for. And I believe, no, oh, she might be the goalie. I'm not really sure. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So ultimately, I didn't get a lot of super heavy hitters. Um, again, I really do like um, Lena Hertig. She's pretty cool. And of course, um, Rose Lavelle, the hero of <laughs> America. Look at that. The FIFA World Cup badge and everything. That's so cool. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching this. I'm really excited um, that I got to re review soccer, especially um, you know the Women's World Cup teams. I'm pretty familiar with those, especially the USWNT. Um, again, Crystal Dawn is amazing, so is Rose Lavelle, and the other 
awesome players from that team. I also particularly love players who, even though they don't play for the U.S., they're still playing on our uh, National Women's Soccer League teams here in the USA. So I really love them. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this. I would really um, love to do more soccer videos in the future. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If I get, let's say about, I don't have too many subscribers right now. So let's say if I get 10, mm, yeah, 10 thumbs up, I'll do another soccer video in the future. Um, I'm already planning on doing a video showing off my soccer card collection. So that'll be a fun little a uh, fun little addition there. So thank you so much and I hope you have a great day. And before I go, I realize I forgot. I still got my Detroit hat on. So we're still with the program here. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.